All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. For those of you that are new here, my name is Drew Sims. Here is my Jeep today, currently out in Idaho. Going to be doing a few nights of winter camping. If you guys have watched my channel before, you've probably seen my most popular winter camping video that I shot around Stanley about two years ago. That was in late February, so everything was super inaccessible. Now I'm here the first week of December and hopefully going to be able to get off road a little bit and find a decent spot to camp. My plan is to camp near Loman, Idaho tonight hit some hot springs in the morning, do a little bit of hiking, cook up some good meals, and then drive into Stanley tomorrow night and sleep in the Jeep, because the following morning is gonna be about negative eight degrees, which is hands down the coldest I've ever slept in the Jeep. Very excited, a little nervous, but hopefully get some good conditions with a little bit of snow, a little bit of sun, and just excited to be back out winter camping. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Out of the 4 million people that saw my last Idaho winter camping, only 15% of those people are subscribed to my channel. So please consider subscribing if you do enjoy this. It helps me out a ton and just allows me to be able to create more videos like this for you guys. But that is enough talking for now. I'm gonna hop in the Jeep and see if I can find a decent spot to camp.
All right, finally made it to camp after a very long, like two and a half, three hours of trying to find a spot. This is actually a designated campground. It's got a hot springs, I think a couple hundred yards south down the river. So excited to do that in the morning. Obviously nobody else is here because nobody is dumb enough to come out and go camping right now. It's a very wet snow coming down. As you can see my jacket, and you can see the back is dry, but the front of my jacket is absolutely soaked. Same with these pants. It's a very, very wet snow coming down, which is very tough to off-road in just because it's very compact. As you can see, it's very good snowball weather, um, but as far as off-roading goes, it's really tough because your tires will start spinning. They'll sink in really easily, and it's just tough to navigate versus when it's really cold out, you get powder, and that's really easy to get through. So really excited that I found a decent spot and gonna get the tent open, the awning going, and get some dinner on the way. This is probably one of the better investments I think I've made for winter camping. It's this little snow peak torch that hooks directly on to a propane tank and that lights the fire in like 10 seconds, which is really clutch when it's snowing out.
All right, good morning, guys. It is around 10.30 right now. Been a pretty slow start to the day. I set my alarm for around 8 this morning, which was when sunrise was supposed to be happening. But I woke up, poked my head out. It was cloudy, windy, and I had zero motivation to get out of my sleeping bag. So I ended up getting up around 9.30, flew the drone for a little bit, had some sun peeking through surprisingly. Now it's kind of gone back to cloudy, but I really love filming the drone when I have those really contrasty scenes with dark clouds in the background, snow everywhere, some shadows from the clouds and the sun, and then the trees and some of the snow getting lit up by the sun is always so beautiful in the winter. And just this morning was a good reminder of, of why I love being out here. Not gonna be doing breakfast this morning just because I'm still pretty full after last night. Just made some coffee though, threw a little Baileys in just because today is gonna be a very laid back, relaxing day. And Kind of my whole plan for the entire day is just to hit hot springs. I've got the first one about 100 yards south of me down this river. Should be a decent little hike, but nothing too crazy. And then the second is like four or five miles up the road. Should be to Stanley around 3 or 4 p.m. Have enough time to find a spot to camp. Going to be sleeping in the Jeep tonight just because it's going to be negative 8 tomorrow morning. So I'm not even going to attempt to sleep inside the tent tonight. Planning on camping in a snow park, which is just a big parking lot basically that they keep plowed for snowmobiles and cross country skiers. So that should be easy. I'm not really too worried about finding a spot to camp. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the tent, the awning, clean up a little bit and head down to the first hot springs. But before we do that, I wanna take a quick break from the winter camping to give a big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Motion Array. Motion Array is an online marketplace with a huge variety of video assets, including stock footage, photos, music, sound effects, and video templates. The site has an incredibly easy user interface, allowing you to download and install extensions into programs such as DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and more. For me personally, I use Motion Array to add things like sound effects and motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. This is such a quick and easy way to increase the overall quality of any video or project that you have. Motion Array is a membership-based website, so when you sign up for a monthly or annual plan, you get unlimited access and unlimited downloads to everything across the site to use whenever you want. If you guys are interested, make sure to click the link down below in the description or just visit motionarray.com. They're currently running a holiday sale offering $50 off all annual subscriptions. They also offer a free trial if you guys are unsure. It is a little more limited access versus the monthly and annual plan, but it does give you a chance to test the waters and see if Motion Array is right for you. Big thanks again to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. Thank you. 
was pretty cold. Woo! Oh. Wow, that feels amazing. Surprisingly very hot. Thank you. 
it is definitely starting to get chilly very quickly. The Jeep right now says it's about one degree out and it's only 7 p.m. So I have a feeling tomorrow morning is gonna be a little colder than negative eight. Gonna try to cook this as quickly as possible, eat it in the Jeep and try to get it in my sleeping bag as soon as I can. <sighs> I'm definitely getting cold right now. Finally made it into my sleeping bag. I've got my zero degree bag, a blanket, another blanket, the heating pad plugged in. So hopefully I'll stay decently warm tonight. I've got a mummy bag so it flips over my head and zips all the way up. My plan for tomorrow morning is to wake up about an hour before sunrise, start the Jeep, try to warm this thing up a little bit and then drive like 10 or 15 minutes to a spot that's a little closer to the mountains. Forecast is saying it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so hopefully I'll get some decent sunrise conditions and then hopefully the sun's out for my hike tomorrow. Usually in these videos, I like to get out of the Jeep, set the camera up, show a shot of me getting in the Jeep, getting in my sleeping bag, the lights go out and it fades out. But there is zero chance that I'm getting out of the sleeping bag right now to go outside. So you guys will just have to use your imagination on that one. But now it's time to zip up the sleeping bag, get the heating pad going, and I will see you guys in the morning.
All right, good morning, guys. As you can see, I'm trying to make breakfast right now. I pulled up to this spot and trying to get the iCamper cooking disc and the propane out of the Pelican, and it is completely frozen solid shut. So um, I'm gonna be cooking out of the Jeep instead. I've got the grill in the back, but pretty cold morning so far. It doesn't feel as cold as it did last night and this morning, but it's still negative 17 degrees out. For as cold as it was, I slept pretty decent, um, but really tough to get out of bed this morning in the Jeep. Took three times to start. I was a little nervous, but it got going and it took about an hour for the Jeep with the heat blasted full just to warm up the inside and get me out of my sleeping bag. But now I'm going to get breakfast going, get some much needed coffee going and try to warm up a little bit. All right, well, completely disregard what I just said about trying to cook breakfast out of the Jeep. All my water is completely frozen. Um, the propane will not start for some reason. Obviously it's negative 17 degrees out, so that could be a factor, but I'm also at 6,200 feet up here in Stanley. So it's just not my morning for strawberry pancakes and gonna give up on breakfast this morning, head down into Stanley and see if I can get something to eat, try to warm up a little bit and then head out to Redfish.
what a day. <laughs> Started off very cold this morning and breakfast was a complete bust. And tried to get out here with the Jeep and that didn't work out at all. And yeah, just tried to stay as positive as I could throughout the day and ended up leading to one of the most beautiful afternoons I've had in a while. Just an absolute bluebird day. Little to no wind throughout the entire hike and I haven't really seen anybody. That's really why I like coming out here in the winter and why I like winter camping so much. It's dead quiet out here and you get really popular places like Redfish Lake, which is usually slam packed during the summer, completely to yourself. And downside is I'll be hiking back in the dark after sunset. I've got some wispy clouds rolling in right now and I want to put up the drone. So I'm definitely staying for sunset and then gonna have to hike out a very cold, long hike back to the Jeep. Luckily, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but it's almost a full moon, just over a three quarter moon. So when everything is covered in snow like this, you really don't even have to use a headlamp. So it should be a nice, easy walk back to the Jeep. And obviously not gonna film a ton of that just cause I wanna get back and get out of the cold. But now I think I'm gonna relax for a sec, throw the drone up and hopefully get something decent for sunset.
All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this winter camping vlog. As you guys can see right now, it's an absolutely gorgeous last day. When I woke up this morning, it stayed cloudy till about noon, and I debated going back to Salt Lake early. Really glad I stuck it out though. Conditions today have been absolutely beautiful. Ended up hitting another hot springs today too, which I can't complain about. Just had a late breakfast, and now I'm slowly, slowly making my way out of Stanley back towards Utah. Very sad to be leaving though. Stanley has been a really special place to me over the last four years. This was the first place I came in the first backcountry, solo backcountry that I did after moving into my Jeep full time and leaving Florida. And I've come back here at least twice a year for the past four years and it never, never gets old. It's, it's really such a beautiful place. Overall, it's been a really gorgeous couple of days up here. Happy that I got some snow down in Loman and then that negative 18 morning here was a fun experience. Lots of hot springs. Got really lucky with that hiking weather out to Redfish. It was an absolutely beautiful day as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.